Hi, I'm Simon, and welcome to a new season of Get Grass. In this season, we're going to be taking a look at a range of different products that you can use on your home lawn. So today, to kick things off, we're going to be taking a look at a pre-emergent herbicide known as Embargo. Given we're now moved away from summer and into autumn, it's an excellent time to consider using a pre-emergent. Turf culture embargo herbicide is a selective pre-emergent herbicide that controls unwanted grasses and broadleaf weeds in established turf. Now there's two different types of herbicides. There's pre-emergent and post-emergent. So pre-emergent basically prevents any of the unwanted grasses and broadleaf weeds rearing their nasty heads while post-emergent deals with them once they have. Embargo herbicide stops weeds by preventing root growth and development of the newly germinated weeds. This is primarily done through soil profile placement, so it's not going to be absorbed through the leaves of the plant or through the root system. This can be seen here in the active pre-emergent zone. So to achieve this, the placement of the herbicide is really important in order to get strong results. So when spraying, you need to make sure that you've got a good even flow and coverage over the area that you want to be treating. After application, the plants which have the majority of their root system in the herbicide profile zone cannot effectively absorb the water or nutrients required for plant growth development. You can see that the turf grass roots sit deeper below this zone. Now there are a number of benefits to embargo. It's effective against a number of summer and winter weeds giving you control up to around 18 weeks. So this makes it cost effective compared to having to continuously use a post-emergent herbicide. Now before treatment, it's important to get rid of any unwanted weeds that have already reared their heads. So this means using a post-emergent. After application, you will need to irrigate the treated area with around 10 to 15 mils of water. This is to ensure that it gets into the pre-emergent herbicide zone or apply when it's raining so that you save on your water bill. When it comes to mixing, partly fill your spray tank with water before adding the required amount of embargo. Ensure that you agitate it so that it will mix thoroughly. As with any product, follow the label to ensure that the product is suitable for your lawn. This will also give you the recommended rate to apply for your type of lawn. So for my Santa Ana Cooch and my Tiff Tuff, I'll use about 50 mils of embargo to every 100 meters square of grass that I have. In regards to how much water I'll put into my tank, well this is based on the flow rate or the required amount that it takes to walk over the treated area. As always, read the SCS or the safety data sheet to ensure that you're using the product safely and protecting yourself and others. Well I hope this video has been useful for you. Don't forget to like, but more importantly, subscribe so you don't miss out on some of the other videos across this season. And as always, if you can't be grassed, get grass can.